Welcome people to bonus part number 2 of my Transformers the Game playthrough. It's time to take on the sub chapter for a uh, no, sub challenges for the first four levels of the game. Okay, so obviously I'm starting with the suburbs. I already have been collecting at least 80 of the mini cubes off camera. You really only I'm pretty sure you only need to get 80 of them to play all four challenges. Because well first you pay 20 cubes to play one challenge, and then 40 for the next, 60 for the third, and yeah, I think you get the idea. I should only need 80. 80 out of 100 mini cubes. And collecting mini cubes, it doesn't just unlock the sub challenges, but also more bonus content. So the, uh, the first sub challenge is already marked on the map. And in fact, they'll only be marked on the map after you find them and touch them for the first time. This challenge is Hunt, where all you do is destroy, you track down and destroy some vehicles within a time limit, most likely. Let's do this. Okay, there's vehicle number one. There are, uh, I believe there's only four of them. Okay, come on, target that one. Okay, let's just go to Robot Point for this. Oh god. It's driving rather fast. Get out of my way! Oh my god, come on! Well, it seems to go in the exact, or it takes the exact same route. Like, each one takes the same route every time. Okay, well, that's the first vehicle destroyed. It looks like this one right here may keep driving in a circle over... Okay, maybe not. Wait, where is it? I see you. Oh god. You can't stop hitting things. Oh wow. One of the other vehicles hit the one I was chasing. Well, it's definitely quicker to destroy them in robot mode. Oh wait, the next one's coming this way. Coming for you. Great, one left. No, transform. Don't jump. You can't escape Bumblebee. Okay, so I just realized you can hold down the heavy weapon button. It can also continuously fire, not just the light weapons. And the destruction keeps going up, but... Okay, that's done. Submission number one complete. And I got an achievement for completing one. Yep, it was somewhat easy. Not too hard. It was just annoying. Now I gotta go find the other free submissions. 
I think there may be one at the power plant. Well, I found one mini cube that I haven't got yet. And I did also see another one on one of the rooftops. Okay, I think this one may involve having to look for- Hey, wait! I see an Autobot logo up here. Didn't realize I never got this before. Yeah, I have been getting a lot of Autobot and Decepticon logos off camera as well. But just as I figured, this sub-challenge right here is all about looking for glowing cogs. Once again, there will be a time limit, but I got this. Just pay attention to the radar. There's a smaller circle that shows you... Uh, it will show you the, the spots for each cog. A Decepticon drone? Seriously? Well, I don't have time to deal with that. Go away, drone. Okay, where are the next ones? Get out of my way! Two left, and... Okay, that's, that's that. This one was easy too. I don't remember where the last two are, though. Wait, I see one. Oh, I think this one is... Sumo. Oh yeah, this one ought to be fun. All you do is knock the Decepticon drones out of the ring. And make sure you don't go outside the ring yourself. Going outside the ring destroys each drone. It doesn't kill you instantly. You just get a few seconds to get back inside. You knock down the drones using either melee attacks or throwing stuff at them. Especially these uh, armor drones right here. Okay, away with you. Come on, pick this up. And that other drone got in the way, of course. Oh, hey, stop that! Whoa! Okay, some asteroids came down and it killed that drone. Oh, come on, hit this one! Hurry, B, pick it up, and chuck you! Come on, you stand no chance against me. Bumblebee is the Autobot that stings. Okay, more asteroids are coming down. Or meteors, whichever you prefer. Come on, you're next. Just stay down. 
Or don't. That's more like it. Come here, you. Be gone. Only nine left. Okay, that one ground pound was all I needed to take out that drone. There is one particular sumo mission, which takes place in level 4 specifically, where you have you pretty much have no choice but to use a ground pound to knock down the drones, because you play as... Well, I hate to spoil it, but you play as Jazz in that sumo mission. And his attacks are too weak, or his combo attacks are too weak to knock down the drones. So you absolutely need to do the ground pound to knock them down, so you can throw them. I can do this, even with only two minutes left. Oh really, it was right at the border. That one has broken to pieces. What, are there gonna be no more armor drones? One left. You're dead. Oh, really? You jumped as I jumped. Not cool, man. Okay, that's it for the first sumo challenge. Not too hard. But now I gotta find where the last submission is. And here it is. Funny enough, I never even uh, found this one off camera, but I'm glad I did now. Get to all the points within the time limit. And I was right that I only need 80 to play all four of them. So just like what you do in the mission where you play as Jazz, where you have to get or create a creative diversion by racing through the city and destroy a bunch of gas tanks and such, you just drive around and touch all the markers. Okay, come on, go. Man, all, the, all this little rubble is blocking me, too. Wait a minute. Did I even touch that one? It looked like that other vehicle touched it, and somehow it counted as me hitting it. Now forget it. I don't even know how long this goes on for. Oh, crap. Come on, go this way. Oh man, that was the sound of the Decepticon drone. They tried to stop you during this submission as well. Sorry, cop. I'm in a hurry here. out of time. I hope I'm almost done. Come on! Really? How many were there? 
Where does this submission end? Okay, so it just ends there at the neighborhood. Suburban Hero Challenger. Yep, that's exactly what I am. That clears all of the submissions for level 1 of the Autobot campaign. Moving on to more than meets the eye. Okay, the first sub-challenge is here at the mall. Which one is this? Oh, to just destroy all the Decepticon drones? Fine by me. Now which Autobot am I? I'm Ironhide. Well, that's fine by me. Come here, Decepticon punks! Oh! Uh, pick this one up, or don't. And there are only 11 of them. And yet I have a, a, quite a lot of time to destroy them all. Come on, keep them coming. These punks are clearly not feeling so lucky. Oh no, a spinning chain drone. I hate those guys. Oh, I think I'm gonna give it a face full of bus. And it worked. Very nice. You're done, for. Hey, come here. Come on, it's your turn to die. All the stupid tanks, they won't stop interfering. I shall now terminate all of you. And here's yet another spinning chain drone. Have a tank! Oh, we both got knocked back. Okay, only one left. Gonna give this one a face full of... Okay, if this bus would stop moving, I'll oh, forget it. Oh, I already blew it up. I never even realized that I haven't gotten the throw bonus in this level yet. And catch a palm tree. Or don't. I'll just destroy you instead. Well, you were given a lot more time than you needed to complete this one. Uh, here's something I still haven't mentioned yet. Uh, even though you play as multiple Autobots in level 2, Jazz, Ironhide, and Prime, well, unfortunately, there's no way to switch back to Jazz or Ironhide. After you finish level 2, you're, you're stuck as Optimus Prime permanently. That sucks, I know. And of course it'll be the same case for every other level where you play as multiple characters. Now, where's the second submission? I'm pretty sure I touched all four of the submissions in this level. I think there may be one somewhere near the police station. Wait, I see one. At the police station it is. Whoa, that was weird. Now this one, I think... Oh, it's Scavenger. I gotta find Cogs again. And I think I'm Jazz for this challenge.
Okay, where's the cog? I would expect it to find some on the rooftops. And once again, the, the authorities are gonna try to stop me. Even though I'm just looking for cogs and I'm not destroying stuff. Okay, so there there clearly are cogs on some of these rooftops. And even ones that are right at the border of the action zone. This one's gotta be on this rooftop. Let's hope I can do this one in time. Hey, I found another Autobot logo I didn't get before. Okay, seven left. I can do this one. There is one on, I assume this is a donut shop. I saw another cog around the police station here. Okay, I got this one. Last two are very close together. Well done, Jazz. Very well done. Oh, and the last two are very close together as well. So this one... Oh, this one must be... Sumo. Okay, I enjoy these submissions. Which Autobot am I here? Okay, I'm Prime. I would have expected to be Ironhide maybe, but that's fine by me. Ah, but unfortunately, another one of these spinning chain drones is back. Good thing they're much easier to deal with here. Okay. Let's get this one out of the way. Come here. Nice. Two at the same time. How awesome is that? Okay, I'll give you a I'll give you a face of, full of chain fence as well. Oh god. Get out of my face already. Well, I I already have 8 left. God. You clearly face a lot of these spinning chain drums. You just said the punks are done for. All of you.
Okay, so there, there weren't going to be any more spinning chain drums. Only one left for level 2. Now, which one is this going to be? It could be one that involves driving around. This one... Ah, uh, it's... Oh, wait, it's race. I thought it was going to be the one where you track down or hunt down the vehicles. And once again, I'm Prime. I'm going into a tunnel. And over a bridge. Wow, I beat this one with total ease. A lot easier than the last, or the, the race in the suburbs. Neighborhood Watch Challenger. Okay then. Is... I, I assume that you get achievements every time you complete all submissions in every level. So now, let's go to Inside Hoover Dam. So as this level starts, I'm already at one of the sub-challenges. This one... Well, once again, I'm racing. Getting all the points. Going on a pretty long straightaway. Pretty much a good place to use your nitro. Oh crap. Don't slow down now, B. Well, I know exactly where this race ends. I got this one in the bag. And done. Not a problem whatsoever. I'm pretty sure there will be yet another sumo challenge for this level. Let's see if that will be the next one I come across. Yes it is! Let's do this! Oh god, an armor drone. Why does it have to be them? Yeah, your armor's not so tough. Nor are you too heavy for B to carry. Hey, come here, truck. Oh, God. It hit a wall. That's why it didn't stay down. Oh, come on. Oh my god, these other drones just won't leave me alone.
let me pick this up and throw it at him. That's it. And of course, they make me drop it. Man, this this demo challenge not isn't gonna be very easy. And why didn't I pick up that drone right there? Oh, because of all these vehicles coming, these explosions are gonna constantly be happening. I'm not gonna bother trying to face this guy again until the rest of the drones are gone. There. You're totally all that's left now. And go away. Well, good thing I had more than two Mimis to spare. But this was definitely the most annoying sumo challenge so far. Where or oh, where could number three be? Okay, it's back to playing scavenger. Most likely I'll have to do some climbing to get some of them again. up here. What? What was that? Oh my god. The game's glitching right now. Oh god. I'm pretty sure the next one's up there, but... Climb up there, V. And don't glitch through. He glitched through. Oh, wait, wait. Okay. Where is it? My god, it's all the way at the top. Not sure if I can do this in time, because of how much time I've wasted trying to get that one. Is another one at the top too? It is. Oh, I'm not gonna do this one.
All right, I got it this time. It, it only took two attempts for this one. I don't see the last one anywhere, so I gotta find it. Wait, I see it. Well, now I'm back to finding and destroying vehicles. And I went right past it. And it doesn't seem like the vehicle's weapons are damaging it all that much. Oh wait, one of them is pretty much stuck. That's one down. Oh, of course. I may not be able to do it at the, do it at this rate. One of them is coming this way. Oh god, so was that one. Come on. Whoa! Oh my god, the other two got launched up in the air. Well, that slowed the last one down. And I did it. Also, it took only two attempts. Well, I got really lucky to get two of them pretty much stuck. That clears inside Hoover Dam, thankfully. These challenges were more difficult than the uh, in the other two levels. But now it's time to go to level 4. Okay, here I am at the last stand, and right off the bat, here's the first challenge. And I know exactly what this one is. I totally remember Sumo being around here. Now, this is the Sumo challenge I mentioned back in level 1, where... Come on, load! The one where you play as Jazz. And unfortunately, oh god, it's not those guys again. Let me take care of this guy first. Uh, because Jazz's melee moves are too weak to knock down the Decepticons, the only way to knock them back and, you know, knock them to the ground so you can pick them up is by doing the ground pound. I mentioned that before as well. This is how you do this as Jazz. No, get the chain drone. Oh, God. Well, hey, we both got hit at the same time. Quit moving around already. Too bad for them, their shields can't block a ground down. How are you not out yet? Thank you.
Uh, I don't think the lamppost is knocking them down either. And good thing Jazz can still pick them up. Come on, bring on more. Jazz is up to it. I'm totally going to have a whole lot of time left after this. Be gone! Jazz may be smaller than these punks, but he's still got the upper hand. It doesn't necessarily mean that he's weaker than them. After all, he did defeat Blackout and Starscream all by himself. Pride of Optimus Prime? Now how did I get this one? 200 Decepticon drones have met their match. Oh, I guess it was just, uh, just for destroying 200 of them. Crap. Get back in there. You really only get three seconds to re-enter the ring before you lose. And it doesn't look like there will be any more swinging chain drums. It was just two or three of them. Come on, last one. Walking gets you nowhere. Yeah, Jazz is number one. Let's see which one I'm going to play next. I see number two. Oh god, it's Scavenger again. Well, let's just get this over with. I'm Bumblebee for this one. There's one on this fast food joint. Oh man, this sign was blocking me. Hurry, B. You only have two minutes left. And I found another Autobot logo. That, that was uh, only the fourth one. And too bad these Transformers can't climb any faster. Why do I feel like I said that in the previous part? That was another cog that was right at the border. And so was that one. I can do this. Only three left. And I see the last two, very close together again. That was the last scavenger challenge for the Autobot story. Okay, number three is right here at this construction site. This one, destroy all the drones. I hope I'm Ironhide for this one. No, I'm not. 
Well, I should be iron higher for the fourth challenge. Prepare, prepare to get stunned. Fatally. Whoa, what? Where, where did that drone go? Okay, something uh, uh, made it fling way over here. Plus, I have a lot of time to do this. Again. A lot more, uh, more time than I need to finish this. There were only 11 drones. Again. Crap. Why did that have to happen? I'm gonna give them a face full of lampposts. Yeah, suddenly a lamppost has become their kryptonite. Hit it. Well, that one didn't blow up instantly. I see you. You're toast. Only four left. Come on, bring out the last four. Surely there's gonna be a tougher drone. Only two left, and holy crap, 9 11. Unbelievable. And the last one... Oh my god, they were all nothing but regular drones. No armor or chain-swinging drones or anything tougher than that. Wow, this submission was not challenging at all. Not even a little bit. You were given a whole lot of time to do it, and there were only 11 drones to destroy, and none of them were tough to take out. But anyway, the last challenge is all the way here in the corner. This one, it's... race. Okay, that's fine by me. I prefer that over destroying the other vehicles. And as I figured, I am Ironhide for this. Sorry, itchy neck. This one shouldn't be too hard. Don't slow down, Iron Hide. Keep driving. And done. Ended pretty much at the starting point. Well, that's nice. So, that's every single submission in the Autobot campaign. So, you know what this means. Time to move on to the Decepticon campaign. Where could challenge number one be? There should be one around here somewhere. There you are. Which one is this? Ah, scavenger. Well, uh... <clears throat> Let's hope this one's not too hard. Am I Blackout or... I'm Scorponok. Oh god. This isn't gonna be very easy. Well, good thing there are a few spots where Scorponok can, can burrow underground. Ah, uh, but because Scorponok can only move faster while burrowing, and it's mostly just road, it's not going to be very easy to... Well, we'll see how difficult this might be. 
at the very least, I'm given plenty of time to do this. And as I recall, there may be another scavenger submission in level 4 of the Decepticon story where you're Scorponok again. And that one will most likely be even harder than this one. Come on, show me where the next one is. Oh god, the military's gonna try to shoot Scorpionog down. Trying to stop him from fighting everything. Wait, I saw one. And here's one that's pretty much right at the border. Okay, so Scorpionok can dig under, or dig around here too. Well, I have eight left, but can I really do this in time? Okay, something's blocking me. Show me the next ones. Oh my god, I'm losing health here. You know what, this one could be pretty difficult as well, since the military are constantly shooting at me. I better restart. I, I was most likely going to die there. Uh, I tell you, the scavenger missions are definitely not easy to do as Scorponok. They really aren't.
I'm doing a lot better now. I only have six left to get. Plus, it seems like the army will try to shoot at you whether you cause destruction or not. Two left. Oh, where could the last one be? I still have plenty of time, Binkley. Wait, there it is. I got this. This only took two attempts. But I just know that the... The, sca the scavenger mission in level 4 is, is going to be a lot harder. I'm pr as, as I recall, that you play a scorpion knocking that one again. Here's number 2. This one? Destruction. Oh yeah, that's what Decepticons are all about. And of course it's- Oh my god, I'm Scorpion Knock again! And there are Autobot drones that are gonna try to stop me. But I was gonna say that Destruction is, uh, of course can only be played in the Decepticon campaign. Since Autobots don't do Destruction. And of course I don't remember you play a Scorpion Knock in this Destruction challenge. Plus, that's a swinging chain, Autobot. Great, that's the last thing I need. I don't think Scorpion Knot can actually destroy those drones, so it's best to just leave them alone. Oh, give me that hell power up. I totally needed that. You Autobot scumbags are not going to stop this scorpion. This should be a piece of cake. Come on, almost there. Yeah. Great, this one only took one try. So, unexpectedly, I played that scorpion knock twice in a row. There should be only two submissions for Scorpion Knock and two for Blackout. Okay, submission level, I mean number three. You're definitely Blackout for this one. Oh, and also, the submissions, well, I may have mentioned this before, but this is the only way to get the evil bonus when you're playing level 1 and 3 of the Decepticon campaign. Of course this one's gonna block my shots, too. Hey, a Decepticon logo I never found before. Well, there's only 11 of them again, and you're given a whole lot of time, so this will totally be a piece of cake. Oh no, swinging chain drone, again. Of course they're gonna be back. Blackout, pick up something! Whoa! Okay, something blew that drone up for some reason. Where's that other drone? 
The one way over here. You, come here. Face me. Oh no, the tanks. They're the ones exploding. I knew that tank wasn't going to hit it. There's that drone out of the picture. Good thing Blackout's heavy weapons are still no match for their shields. Four left. Come on, bring them out. I should probably stop doing that. Come on. Come to me, last three. Great. Another swinging chain drone. Well, I, I figured I was going to save this one for last. Eat my propeller! All done. The last submission, it should totally be Sumo. Where am I gonna find that? Supply Depot West. Sumo, sweet. You ready for this blackout? You should be. Hey, you were supposed to get hit. How am I not hitting this drone? Hit it. Thank you. And I get knocked away from it. Oh god, the... These things are going to keep exploding. I was right... I re-entered the ring... Oh, God. Might as well just make all these tanks explode if they're gonna keep knocking me away. Come on, knock the drones out of the ring, not me. Finally got one now. Okay, tanks, that's enough. I knew I was going to drop that one. Can I finally destroy this one? Okay, Blackout's heavy weapons, heavy weapons are going to come in handy here, too.
Blast you. You're gonna die now. This may be the easiest submission where you can get an evil bonus, since the Autobot drones don't get destroyed by attacking them. Why didn't it keep going up? Right, a Megatron. Must have got that from destroying enough Autobot drones. Can I get the evil bonus here now? Nice. And I thought that drone was going to explode in my hands after I stepped out of the ring. Four left, no, three left. Time for you to become scrap metal. Last one. It's another ordinary drone. Okay, that takes care of all of Blackout and Scorponok's submissions. I am indeed the Sand Blaster Challenger. Now to move on to the hunt for Sandwit Wiki. Okay, the first up challenge for Barricade is right here. It's Scavenger. Fine, that that's okay. I can do this as Barricade. No doubt there will be some cogs on some rooftops again. Next ones. Come on, show me the. Wait, I saw one. Gotta do this fast, I'm running out of time. There are some here at Bobby Bolivia's. Ooh, got plenty of them around here. Well, this one was rather easy. Suppy tells me there may be a, a race or even a hunted challenge somewhere. Oh, hey, uh, this is a sub challenge that I didn't even touch off camera. Well, I'm just glad I found it anyway. Hey, blow up you. Or don't. Yeah, movie barricade. 
Don't let them get away. I noticed that I was given a, a prompt to pick up that car. Oh, of course. Oh wow, you, you can really pick up the cars. And it destroys them instantly. Well, now I know. Bit fences. Okay, that one may be. Wait, here's one coming this way. I got this one in the bag. One left. Is it gonna make a turn? Of course it is. You can't escape this Decepticon. You are doomed. All of you. Well, I, I I completed this one with plenty of time to spare. Plus, you all know now that you can pick up those cars you're supposed to destroy, and throwing them instantly destroys them. Here's number three, in the housing estate north. Oh boy, it's sumo time. Come here, you. Get blown up. And give me all these wonderful health power-ups. I'll never die at this rate. Hit this one. Out of the ring with you. And I just realized I have 30 drones to destroy. This still won't be a problem. Come on, stop moving!
Come on. 10 left. Doesn't look like you faced any tougher Autobot drones. What? How did you... How did my ground pound not knock it back? Last one. Well, I was right. No tougher Autobot drums to face. It's all nothing but ordinaries. So, the last one, it could be maybe a uh, race or destruction. Now, I will see which it is. Okay, the last submission is here at the power plant. Since I already cleared Scavenger, destruction, heck yes! Barricade's gonna cause, or easily cause, a ton of destruction here at the power plant. All thanks to these explosive containers. Ready to have some fun, Barricade? You ought to buy drone You drones can't stop me! That's it, containers keep blowing up. Oh god, and now I'm blowing myself up in the process. Get out of my way, Autobots! Oh crap, I, I only have one minute left. More containers. Oh crap. Okay, it's over. That takes care of the hunt for Sam with Wiki. It's time to go back to being Starscream. Alright Starscream, your first submission is Sumo. I'm totally up to it. Plus I still haven't got the evil bonus for a gathering force yet. I could get it here. What? what was that? Ground Pound! That's it. Uh, unfortunately, there are there are even more Autobots that block my shots. Back off, Chain Drone. Okay, something made my ground pound stop right there. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm not going to get the evil bonus here. It looks like all the Autobots are going to block my guns. Come on, get that one. Back here. Wow, 
what, is another chain drone not going to show up? Nice summer salt there, star screen. I'm definitely not getting the evil bonus here. So many flying vehicles shooting at me. And they're practically not even doing any damage. And that clear star screen sumo challenge. There should be another submission where you just destroy the Autobot drones. Well, the next two are close together. Here's yet another scavenger challenge. This shouldn't be hard at all with Starscream. Of course, it's much easier to see where several of the cogs are on the radar while you're in jet mode. Boy, all of these are pretty close together. Oh, I'm stuck! Oh my god! Oh wow, I, I was stuck there even when I transformed, but I'm out now. Last three. Here they are. And done. Now, what's the other challenge that I saw? And I was right, it's attack. Let's see if I can get the evil bonus for this one. Ah, only 11 drones again, and a whole lot of time to do this. Oh, oh, hey, I still got it. Even though I didn't, uh, I wasn't still shooting at another drone. So I do believe that's all the skills. Here, catch! Ah, you missed. And then got killed yourself. Chain drone again with this. I'm getting really sick of those guys. How am I not hitting it? Oh my god. Hit it. That's better. What, what was that? Oh, uh, do these jets explode? Oh, come on. This drone better step back into the action zone. Am I gonna hit it with this other jet? 
Yes, I am. How nice. Oh my god. Again, just keeps running away from me. It. That's it. Now bring out the last four drones. Oh, again! Another one! It's over. I'm clearing Starscream submissions pretty fast. I'm already I'm already down to one left. I hope this last one is destruction as well. No, it's not here. Where is it? Come on, where is it? I could have sworn I may have found all four of them off camera. Okay, no I didn't. I only found three of them off camera. But this is destruction. Let's get this done. So I can move on to the last four submissions in the game. And the Autobots are going to try to stop me again. Like that'll ever happen. This percentage, the percentage, it doesn't go up very fast. But I can do this. Oh, yeah. Very good. So, time to move on to uh, City of the Machines. That's, I think that's what level 4 is called. Okay. Time to clear the last four submissions in the whole game. This one is Hunt. Oh god, this again. I should be Barricade. Well, of course I'm Barricade. He's the only Decepticon who has the car mode. Wait, here's another one coming right here. Oh god, not the falling bridge. Oh. 
Hey, come here, you. One down. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. So, you, you can clearly see that the easiest way to destroy these vehicles is to bump them and try to slow them down. And if you can get in front of them, then, well, you, you'll most you'll more easily be able to pick them up and throw them. And of course, you can attack them as well. That also slows them down. Oh God! Get back here. That's right. Get stuck. And get obliterated. Last one. Oh, it didn't. It went that way. I'll try to outflank it. And it went that way. Come on. Oh yeah, and it it flips upside down. It's totally screwed. Okay, hunt complete. Piece of cake. And I'm pretty sure that you play as each of the four Decepticons for this level. And I know exactly which one Scorponok is playing. I might as well look for it right now and get it over with. As I mentioned before, it's bound to be even uh, a harder scavenger challenge than the one in level 1. Ah, oh, here it is. Let's see how many attempts this will take. See that? Just like in level 1, you're Scorpionog for this scavenger. And I'm just gonna avoid destroying buildings, assuming that I'll even... Uh, prevent the military and police from shooting at me, or at least uh, shooting at me a lot, as as it happens when you do cause destruction. And there's absolutely nowhere for Scorpionot to burrow underground in this area. It's all nothing but roads, and what was I stuck on? There was an invisible wall. And these two cogs are very close together. There's bound to be a destruction submission. That'll be for either Megatron or Blackout. Watch out, people. There's a giant robotic Scorponok on the loose. You really don't want to get stung by Scorponok. Because trust me, it kills you. Only six left, and I haven't even lost any health. Perhaps I was wrong about this being much harder. It may be only difficult if you decide to destroy buildings, which will uh, cause the police to start shooting at you and pretty much killing you if you don't stop. I don't even know if there are any health power-ups around here. Crap, I'm running out of time. There's the next cog. Oh, where could the last two be? So far, I'm doing really good. They gotta be around here somewhere. I'm running out of time. They're nowhere to be found. Wait. Uh. Here they are. I do got this. Well, I was wrong that this is a lot harder. Apparently, it's only hard... Again, it's only hard if you decide to destroy buildings and make the police attack you. Okay, well, I'm glad that's done. 
Where is submission number four? It's right here. Destruction. Am I Megatron or Blackout? I Blackout. That's fine by me. I'll start by destroying the fast food place. This ought to be a piece of cake as well. Yeah, an absolute- Oh god, Autobot drones! You're kidding me. This is still a piece of cake. Okay, one submission left. What submission is Megatron gonna get? We'll find out. There you are. And it's Sumo. Megatron is the sumo for this final submission. Oh god. Two swinging chain drones at once. Come on, hit it. Have a pop tree. And another one already. Oh god, get back in there. Let's get these drones out of the way. Oh, so now you're vulnerable. Somehow. Well, I'm almost done here already. Come on, last one. And that's it. I completed every submission in the entire game. And my reward for uh, completing all of them is unlocking a new alternative skin. And yeah, that's something I still haven't mentioned yet. There are alternate skins for certain Transformers you can unlock. And I'm gonna show you every one that I have unlocked so far. I most likely have only... Wait, I, I don't remember how many there are, either 5 or 6. You go to bonus features to see the G1 characters. Okay, there are indeed 5 of them. So far, I unlocked the G1 Starscream repaint, same thing for Jazz, and RoboVision Optimus Prime. Uh, I think I'm gonna uh, unlock the last two before I show up all the G1 skins. And believe it or not, they can all be unlocked by entering cheat codes. And uh, I think cheat codes exactly how I'm gonna unlock the last two. It may disable the achievements, but that that's not really a. Uh, it won't matter for me. So, uh, give me a second, guys. Okay, so the codes worked. The last two costumes were... The last two skins were G1 Prime and G1 Megatron. I'm gonna... Uh, well, you can only enable one of these at a time, since they're both for Optimus. But I'll enable G1 Optimus for now, and enable the other character's skins. Get ready to see what these alternate skins are like. Let's go to... The Ultimate Doom, so you can see G1 Prime. And there you have it. Look this at that. Has to end here, Megatron. It's G1 Prime you from the 80s Transformer series. So fitting they shall be your last. 
Man, it doesn't look like Megatron's G1 skin is enabled. But hey, uh, see, it's pretty cool to be playing as uh, Optimus in this classic form. And you get to see his classic vehicle form as well. It also, well, I just remembered, I still haven't tried to get the speed skill. I actually am going to try to do it here. You are required to... Oh, oh crap. Now, forget the skill anyway. I just wanted to show you the skin. And before I show you another one, let's just see Classic Prime take on Megatron. Oh wait, what am I doing? Autobots don't do destruction. Megatron, where are you? And, oh wait, I just remembered, I'm supposed to throw something at him. And... Now you will pay for your crimes on Cybertron. Come on, Megatron, face me. Face the classic 80s Optimus. And there he goes. Get back here and face justice for all that you've destroyed. Okay, so that's it for G1 Prime. Let's take a look at RoboVision Prime now. Okay, so I'm going to level 2 to show you RoboVision Prime, which is unfortunately not really all that unique. All RoboVision Prime looks like... Well, it's uh, just pretty similar to normal Prime. I mean, it ha he has a different uh, paint job in certain parts of him. And his vehicle form looks similar as well. Both the front and back of him. Uh, yeah, uh, that's all RoboVision Prime looks like. Just a slightly different reskin of normal Prime, which is not all that unique. So it's somewhat boring, right? Okay, well, let's take a look at G1 Paint Jazz now. Okay, let's go to Unfriendly Skies to show you G1 Paint Jazz. You won't get away this Come on, load up. We want to see G1 Jazz. Even though he's really just a, a repaint of regular Jazz. It, uh, he's regular Jazz with the... I guess it's supposed to be the same kind of color as Jazz from the classic Transformers series. I don't even remember what he looks like in that show. Take him out. Well, it's, he's mostly different when in vehicle form, but he's got uh, some different paint jobs on him. Like, you can see the number 4 on the car doors, and there's the blue and red paint job as well. I'm not so sure if you would find this all that unique either, since he is just regular Jazz with a different color, but that's really what G1 Paint Jazz looks like. Oh, hey, he's got number 4 on the hood as well. I suppose you would say that's a pretty fancy kind of Pontiac you may want. But anyway, let's let's see G1 Paint Starscream now. So, here is G1 Paint Starscream. Yeah, he's definitely supposed to look like the classic Starscream from the 80s Transformers. He's clearly got a, a red paint job. Well, red and blue paint job. This, I guess you could say this looks somewhat unique. Even if, again, it's just normal star screen, but with a different color. Yeah, you see that? A star screen coming in red and paint. I mean, a red and blue, like Optimus Prime. Okay, so, with that out of the way, let's finally take a look at G1 Megatron. Okay, ready to see G1 Megatron? Because this one totally looks unique. There he is, people. Now that is the classic Megatron. 
he even has the fusion cannon on his right arm. Oh, and believe it or not, and for some odd reason, G1 Megatron has the exact same weapons and attack animations as Optimus Prime. He even runs just like Prime. Here, look at this. These are Prime's weapons, not Megatron's. And these are Prime's attack animations. Oh, uh, uh, come on, stop kicking. Yeah, see? Those are Prime's attack animations. And they've just been copied and pasted onto G1 Megatron for some reason. And hey, let's take a look at Devastation real quick as G1 Megatron. And because he has the same weapons as Optimus Prime, destroying the cities, uh, it's not as easy to do as regular Megatron. Come out, Prime! If you hand over the Allspark, I might spare these creatures! Yeah, you see this? Prime's weapons are... They're clearly... Uh, just, uh, causing destruction even slower than with Megatron's weapons. Oh, and it's, it's not just that. But when you transform, well, believe it, or me, uh, believe it or not, Megatron doesn't actually transform. See that? He's not in any vehicle form. He's just flying, like he's Superman or something. I do remember, or I do recall that in the G1 series, Megatron transforms into a gun rather than any kind of vehicle. Which is also pretty strange. But hey, uh, that, that is indeed what you do when you hit the transform button. Megatron just spins around and flies. And I do want to... I do want to fight some Autobot drones as G1 Megatron, so... Oh god, I'm running out of time. Yeah, you see what I mean? Totally not as easy to do with, as with Megatron's weapons. Come on, get to 100%. Are the Autobots to protect you now, flesh bags. Okay, Autobots. Take on the classic Megatron. And it's a good thing his fusion cannon is not just for decoration. You do see him fire his guns out with it. And, uh, of course he also has the same blocking attack animation as Prime. Okay, so, I believe you get it now. That was G1 Megatron. And that pretty much wraps up my playthrough of Transformers the game. Well, there is, uh, just one last thing I should show off. All that's left to show, really, is the concept art you unlocked. Even though most people don't even care for concept art, I haven't even unlocked all of them, but... Oh wait, bonus movies? I forget what that is. Oh, so... I do believe that some of these may be TV spots and movie trailers. Or, I mean, trailers for the movie and TV spots as well. And Transformer Cybertron. Hmm, I wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised if this is maybe a full episode of... Transformer Cybertron. Plus, there are only seven movies to unlock, and there's... Only one that I haven't unlocked yet. Well, I'm not really going to show any of these anyway, just in case any of them are copyrighted. But for Bonus Gallery, that's where you go to view concept art. And not just that, but also screenshots of the Transformers toys. And I tell you, as a kid, I remember being pretty obsessed with getting those toys, all because of how much I enjoyed the movie. So... Just gonna take a look at each one that I unlocked so far. It sucks that you can't instantly switch to another image while you're zoomed in on one. You have to keep uh, going back to the menus. Oh hey, there's the Leader Class Megatron. I did you well, no, believe it or not, I still have that figure ever since my childhood. Although I'm afraid I may have lost Megatron's head. <laughs> yeah, uh, and there's the Leader Class Optimus Prime. Oh yeah. I totally enjoyed playing with that toy as a kid. Oh, and here are some character descriptions, or character bios. Well, I definitely haven't unlocked these ones yet. Well, again, I'm not really going to keep zooming in and showing you every last one of these. 
Aside from the pictures of the toys, the character bios, and concept art, you also get screenshots from the movie. Yeah, there's the Autobots driving by. Uh, yeah. Uh, you can see there's a, a, a crap ton of concept art to unlock here. And I know that I still haven't unlocked several of them as of yet. Yeah, see? Still a whole lot I have yet to unlock. But, of course, again, who even cares for concept art? Well, this one looks cool, I guess. I think that's supposed to be based off the G1 Transformers. And... I assume these are comic book covers. Ah, yeah. Uh, let's just forget about that. Well, that's about it for my playthrough of Transformers the Game on Xbox 360. If you played this game back in the uh, or back in 2007, I hope you liked it as much as I did. Even though there are still much better Transformers games out there, like Transformers Devastation that I I played many years ago. But that's about it. Thank you for watching, everybody. I shall see you all later in my next playthrough. Bye, guys.